My grandma didn't tell me she was planning on giving it to me until till I was basically, I guess, in college. But yeah, when I was a kid, I mean, I, I, I definitely loved it here and dreamed about it. I didn't really, I didn't really fully contemplate that I would, I'd be inheriting this and like actually making like a life out of it. From my grandmother's perspective, she, she, I guess, chose me when I was when I was an infant. When I was actually in my mother, my middle name is Felton. Um, I'm the last, last child, in my grandma's lineage, that has that name, and that name actually goes all the way back to the Mayflower, and she. For some reason, had had a realization that that I, that the child and my mother was the one she wanted to, to raise to take over the place. So, since I was born, I basically spent the entire summers with her out here. Um, and then I guess in in doing that, she was she was watching me and she was preparing me and deciding if she wanted to give it to me. And she told me that you know she gifted it to me three years ago, and she told me that. Um, I, you know, I wasn't forced to, to live here or do anything with the land, you know, I had to love it, I, had, I have to really love it, and if I don't love it, then it's, there's no point in being here, and so I do love it, and so I'm still here, and hopefully plan on being here, you know, tell him, tell an old man. something with the herd and then closing up the ranch and going down to Utah to, to do guide, guiding, doing wilderness therapy, save up money and come back and really like try to go at it with some money. Um, cause I was getting burned out. You know, I'd spent a lot of time that summer doing this by myself and it, you know, it was hard. And then I got contacted by this guy and he was, you know, super determined. He's like, I, I really want to come to your place and help you out. And, it progressed from that to you know some prayers and going up in the hills and really asking you know, if I'm meant to be here like show me by bringing me people and you know right now you know now is August of 2010 and I've I've been flooded with people I and mean, I have I got people contacting me every every week and um, <clears throat> it gives me a lot of hope it's enabled me to really I guess have have a realistic vision of bring this place back to life without being married or having a family or um or family that's that's here to help. Hey, 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 hey. I'll let you play. All right. All right, let's um <laughs> what do you want to play? Mm. My grandma gifted this to me, she also she also accepted that she was getting ready to go. And so I I really feel her, I feel her presence here, and I know she knows what I'm doing, I mean, I, you know, I was raised with the belief that when a goldfinch, you know, came and sang at the, the sill of the window in the kitchen, my grandma would, my grandma would call me over and say, look, it's, it's Stella, it's, it's your great grandma coming to visit, and, um, I have a lot of encounters like that out here, where I really feel like she's, she's here, and, you know, I, I do believe in, in instinct and intuition and in our heart and you know, I, I know just by putting my heart into this place my grandma's feeling it. <laughs> 